What would you say about x squared now? Okay, 8 squared, yes, plus? Plus 14 squared, right, minus? 2 multiplied by? 8 multiplied by? 14 multiplied by? The cosine of? In this case, that will be the cosine of 64, right? Because that is the angle that we have there. Okay, I know that you can put everything into your calculator right now. But I don't want you to do that now. Uh, I want us to simplify. What is 8 squared? 64. What is 14 squared? 196. So it's 196, right? Uh, then here, what is 2 times 8 times 14? 224. Multiplied by the cosine of 64. Please do not use your calculator to work out cosine of 64. I, I, I want to, to show you something, so wait a little bit. Uh, we can use board mass. What is 64 plus 196? 260, right? So that is 260 minus 224 multiplied by cosine of 64. Yes, that is what I was waiting for. Did somebody say 260 minus 224? Can you do that? No. Can you minus 224 from 260? No. No, because we need to observe board mass, right? Right, so please be careful there. When you get here, do be careful. We need to observe board mass. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow you now to put everything in your calculator as it is. Uh, what is 260? Uh, subtract 224 multiplied by the cosine of 64. I get 161. Comma 8. Don't, don't round off yet round off maybe to four decimals. Eight. Eight zero. Eight zero four nine. No, eight, eight zero, eight zero four nine. Let's say eight zero four nine, okay? But otherwise you can write the, the, the your full calculator display. And now you can find x, which is the square root of that. So what is the square root of the answer? Two decimal places? Twelve seven two. Twelve comma seven two. So then x would be equal to 12,72. In this diagram, we are trying to find theta, right? And we are not given a single angle. Do you see that, guys? So if I don't have any angle at all, but I know the three sides, I can find all the angles, do we agree? You, using the cosine rule. Right, uh, the cosine formula says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab multiplied by the cosine of c. Uh, I would rather stick to this one format, substitute in here, then rearrange my equations and get my answer. But I know that some of you may want to, to rearrange this equation first of all and get a formula for finding angles. It's not like it's a different formula. It is the same formula. So I'm saying from this formula here, do you know that you can actually rearrange and isolate cosine of C? So cosine of C, for instance, will be equal to C squared. This means we're moving everything to the left. So C squared minus A squared minus B squared, all divided by? Not 2AB, but negative 2AB. Do you see that? divided by negative 2ab. Do you see that? Now, this is the same cosine formula rearranged. So it's really up to you. If you want to rearrange it and work like that, that's fine. Otherwise, you can substitute into the first one as it is, because you need to know what your c is, what your a is, and what your b is, and what your angle c is. And then you get your answer there. So you can rearrange. If you rearrange, uh, if you don't like leaving the denominators with a negative, this means the minus should be moved to the, to the numerator, right? So if we move the minus to the numerator, then do you see that c squared will be negative now? But a squared there will be positive and b squared will be positive, right? So I'll write the positive ones first. So that will be a squared plus b squared, then minus c squared all over 2ab. So this is another way of thinking about it. So we are saying 8,6 squared should be equal to 
6 squared plus 5,8 squared right minus 2 times 6 times 5,8 cosine of in our case cosine of theta right because we, we are looking for theta then you solve it from there um, I think you can use your calculator if you want if you don't have to let's rearrange 8,6 squared minus 6 squared minus 5,8 squared is equal to negative 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5,8 multiplied by cosine of theta Right now, do you see that we can divide both sides and get cosine of theta on its own? All right. So we, we're now dividing all this. What are we dividing by? Minus 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5,8. Okay. Um, now you can use your calculator and write it as it is and see what you get. What do you get? Minus 0, 0, 0,06, 206 and so on. Do you get that as well? Okay, 0620, I will, I can leave it to four decimals, otherwise more than four decimals, four or more decimals would be fine. So let's put it at uh, 7 there. So the cosine of theta, but you don't have to clear it from your calculator. So in your calculator, I think you have minus 0, 0,06, 2, 0, 6, 8, 9, 6, 5, 5, 2. Keep, keep it like that in your calculator. But when you write it down here, you can round off to not less than four decimals, please. Okay. Then uh, find theta from there the normal way now. How do we get theta? Shift cosine the answer. Shift cosine that answer. I also got 93.55. <laughs> Check, guys. <laughs> shift cosine, not shift sign. I'm, I'm getting 93, comma five five let's make it two decimal so comma five comma five six degrees yes, sir. So we have the same. Um, zero, um, six, two, zero, six.